Well, tonight the Metro Council will decide the fate of license plate readers. Yeah, we've been covering this back and forth here. Metro Police have celebrated their successes with the LPRs and now they want them permanently. So our Michael Warwick is reporting on both sides of this debate. This is one of the busy Nashville intersections where these license plate readers were in effect for six months this year. Police Chief John Drake says it's critical they stay active. After a six month test run, a vote looms tonight whether Metro Police can continue using license plate readers. During the pilot program, Police Chief John Drake says LPRs were responsible for recovering 87 stolen vehicles and helped make more than 120 felony arrests. But LPRs haven't come without controversy. We know the, the harms and, and uh, consequences that come from increased surveillance and over-policing of uh, our communities. Multiple community organizations like the Tennessee Immigrant and Refugee Rights Coalition are against LPR, saying they disproportionately target minority communities and in other cities have been used by ICE to detain illegal immigrants. We deserve public safety, uh, but public safety looks different for, for different folks, right? And, and for us, uh, we know that it does not include over-policing of our communities. Metro Police say the cameras only read license plates and help them solve violent crime and find missing people. Any other LPR data not involved in a violent crime is deleted within 10 days. I would never advocate for any technology or program that will cause harm to neighborhoods, period. I have no doubt that LPRs will make Nashville a safer place. 90 cities and towns across Tennessee use them, and MNPD says Nashville should be included. The Metro Council will vote on the issue during its meeting starting at 6.30. Michael Warwick, WSMV4.